I'll just get right back to it. Uh, manifest. August 24th, I met up with Sam and he showed me Mary's name on the manifest. That was more than enough proof to give me reason to go up north for... more answers. goes up north again. This is, this is leading up to the Dark Harvest stuff. Cool. Can't wait. Oh. Why? Why, I don't know. Manifest. Let's just get through it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Alright? People always ask me, Mark, What's the next big thing in hockey? I don't know. I used to wonder the same thing until hockey minds are Rogers. Just, 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 just do it. Let's just do this. Alright? Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Told me here. Okay. As I was telling you, I've been doing my research, and mm -hmm. you can see. He's got the string. Now I've been talking to this other guy, Daniel Shipman. I believe you've talked to him. Oh yeah. Um, he's been messaging me for the past few months, actually. Right. With uh, information stuff. So. Um. <laughs> he's got the TARDIS. Well, as you know, as you know, uh, Daniel's been doing his research. Um, except he's up in New Jersey, which and he's actually like near one of the headquarters for this organization. Yeah. Okay. What, what is what is this organization? Uh, okay, not much is really known about them. Mm -hmm. Tough uh, talk in the background, that's good. We do know it's a secret society called the Order. Yeah. They broke off from an older society called the Novus Orda Europa. And they're centered around this Egyptian deity called Gora Leotep. They are extremely secretive, and they've been around for quite some time. Egyptian, what the fuck? Oh, okay, uh, what was this manifest you talked to me about in the email? Right, okay, so the manifest, right. We're doing our research, and Daniel sent me a scan of this old assembly manifest from 1985. I'm looking through it, and I see Asher. Okay, let me show you. No shit, let me check this out. Age 22. Alright, look. South chapter. Um, here. Vassal. Asher M. And the M is clearly for Mary. Female, and she was 22 at the time. 22, that's... Sick, nice, 63. Fuck, I think that's her. Alright, and then... Here. Alabama. Asher. Chapter, South chapter. Alabama. Is Alabama right there? Yeah. That's lies. United States citizenship. Blood type. Noble marks. Alabama. Uh, Hazel. What blood scar on right palm? Huh. Notable markings. I guess I can help you find her. Shit, that's, that's great. Uh, what was that uh, thing over the first columns of the V, I think? Uh, vassal. Vassal. What is vassal. that? Vassal. Uh, their, their hierarchy, I believe. Uh, vassals are the most common on this list, so I guess she was just a member. Anyway, I talked to Daniel about this connection between you and the Manifest, and he mentioned a group of guys that's been helping recently up in New Jersey. Uh, they've actually been dealing with this organization firsthand. 
They have a YouTube channel called Dark Harvest. Dark Harvest? Yeah, Dark Harvest. Let me show you. Okay, this is a better introduction to Dark Harvest. This crossover is, well, is this, being... This looks more like a cult. Cult is probably a more accurate term for them. <laughs> um, well, shit, is there any way I can... Maybe, like, if you can tell me if I can somehow find a way to get more info out of them, like, if I can talk to them, maybe well, even more about Mary, you know? Considering your situation, uh, I suggest meeting up with Daniel. Uh, these guys are very dangerous, um, and he knows a lot more about them than I do. Uh, um... Well, fuck, thanks, man. I'm probably gonna lead, dude. You have no idea how happy this makes me, because I've been short for a while trying to find leads, and, like, dude, you're godsend. Um, by the way, is there, like, any way I can get a copy of that manifest, so I can, uh... Yeah, sure. Um, but... You didn't get it from me. Alright, alright, as long as I can have a copy, and I can, like... That'd be really funny. Right, we'll back. Okay. What did I fucking say? What did I fucking say? What did I say? I said... There's not a lot of things worse than bringing in Nazis. There's only one thing that's worse. That's lazier. That's a fucking cop! You don't put cults in a goddamn horror series about Slenderman! You don't do cults! You just don't! Oh. You just don't do cults in a goddamn Slenderman series. You don't do cults, period. Here's why it's the laziest thing since Nazis. Because it's... it's that's it. Any supernatural problem that you can answer with a cult, then that's it. That's the answer right there. Why are the cultists doing it? Because they're crazy. They're cultists. That's it. Your character development ends there. What's worse, it's worse than Nazis, though. Here's why. Because it completely gets rid of any scary element that it might have. Slenderman with a cult is not scary because Slenderman isn't the problem. You know who the problem is? Is the cultists. So you know what the problem becomes? The problem becomes confronting and killing or eradicating the cultist group, not the monster that they're controlling. Because now here we are. We have an entity that can control time and space and go across all this mess with people's minds. And you know what it's being controlled by? It's being controlled by people, regular people with regular problems. They get up. They go to work, they come home, they do their blood sacrifices or whatever. But 90% of the day, they're just like you and me. 90% of the day, they're normal people. Except they give money to organizations, they get shit pay, and they do blood sacrifices to whatever demon god they believe in. And you can't be scared of a person. You can't be scared of a person. You know why? Because it's a person. You can relate to a person. You can go, I understand that person's point of view somewhat. 
I get that they believe in that. I get that they can do that. Yeah, they're crazy. But they're people. People aren't scary. Crazy people aren't scary. I was never scared by like the hills of eyes or anything like that. Because they're just people. Just crazy people. That's not scary. Slenderman is this faceless, literally faceless, maddening beast. He's scary. It's fucking scary. And you give you give a cult to it, it's not scary anymore. You know what it is? It's, it's hilarious. That's what it is. It's a joke. Congratulations, Dark Harvest. Congratulations, Tribe 12. You've made Slender Man a joke. A goddamn joke. It's the laziest thing since Nazis. Nazis, yeah, you can still make something scary with Nazis. You can still make Slender Man scary with Nazis. Because you can go, oh, the Nazis tried to control it, and it didn't work. But here with cultists, you have actually something controlling it. You have a group of people who successfully mark people to be sacrificed, to be killed by Slender Man. That's what cults do. That's what all cults do. They're all the same. They're all the same. Any demonic cult is exactly the same as the other. I'm a writer. I write horror. I write science fiction. I want to go into filmmaking. So I have to keep these things in mind. I have to keep in mind what's lazy and what's creative. And if I can do something that's, that's been done, but do it in a new way, fantastic. But there are two things I won't ever touch. And that's cults and Nazis, because they've been done to death. They've been done so many times, over and over and over, since the original exorcism, since, since, since the last omen back in 76, since Rosemary's baby, I don't know, I'm making that up, the last exorcism of, of Emily Rose, the, anything, anything, anything has cults and it has been done. Anything that could be done with cults is finished. There is nothing new that you can do with either cults or Nazis. And Tribe 12 is... My camera ran out of battery halfway through that. If I want to go into filmmaking, I have to be aware of what's been done, what cliches and what tropes have been used and abused. Cults are one of the most overused cliches in horror history. Lovecraft was doing it way back in Call of Cthulhu. In fact, we can make an argument saying that Lovecraft was the one who started it all. Guess when he started writing? Late 1800s. Cults have been around for centuries before then. Literally anything I can do with a cult has been done twice. It's not creative. It's not interesting. And the fact that they try <laughs> makes me laugh. And it makes me annoyed and disappointed in Tribe 12 for once again going along with a clearly terrible idea. Okay, granted, the crossover with Dark Harvest was a lot more well set up. Credit where credit is due. It, it didn't feel like two guys, it didn't feel like two groups going, hey, do you want to cross over? Yeah, let's do a crossover. No, this one felt planned. This one felt drawn out, significant. You don't, you don't do cults. You don't do cults. And again, this is not Tribe 12's fault. This is Dark Harvest. It seems like the cult idea came from them. Why, why, why does Adam keep agreeing to this? Why does he keep agreeing to do terrible ideas? Oh yeah, sure, let's do crossover. Let's not hint at it at all, let's just do it. Oh yeah, let's do a cult. What are you thinking? I'll finish watching the manifest. 
I'll finish watching the manifest and then taking then taking a couple weeks off to get my head around this to figure out what's going on and then maybe in a couple of weeks once I'm caught up on uploading all these reactions I might do another state of the slender verse no I'll save that for after I watch the crossover with Dark Harvest it might not be today it might, I might film it tomorrow I might film it in two weeks all I know is that I'm gonna watch the manifest and finish watching that and then I'm gonna take a, take some time just to breathe and just 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 to think about this. So just give me a second. All right. Let's try this again, from the top. A1 Towing is a one-stop towing company for all your towing solutions in Calgary and surrounding areas that... That's nice. I don't need towing, but thank you for letting me know. I finally got a lead. Dude, you have no idea how happy this makes me, because I've been short for a while trying to find leads and... Anyway, I can get a copy of that manifest, so I can, uh... Yeah, sure. Um, but... You didn't get it from me. Alright, alright, as long as I can have a copy, and I can, like... it would be really fun. Okay. Alright. Again, I have to be aware of what cliches and tropes have been used. And cults have just been used way too many, many times. It's just not even it's not even it's not even useful anymore. It's just a oh hey look a cult. Now we know exactly how this movie's going to end. We know exactly what's going to happen. They confront the cult. Either they, they take down the cult somehow, they get captured by the cult, sacrificed by them. Either way, using cults just close off possibilities of where you could take your story so fast it's not even funny. Actually, it is funny, but in a sad kind of funny. Like, oh ha, now you can't do anything else except for a cult story. Which, again, has been done so many times. It's not new anymore. I have no intention of going to Dark Harvest. And if you told me three months ago that there's a cult in Tribe 12, I wouldn't even try Tribe 12 anymore either. I wouldn't. I'm in too far now. I'm in too deep. I can't get out. I'm going to keep going till the end. But you cannot convince me to go to Dark Harvest. Not with that shitty premise. Cult, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't even have the energy to be mad anymore. I used it all up outside. I don't have the energy to be mad. I, I, I just don't feel... I feel numb. <laughs> I, I feel disappointed. And a little cheated, honestly. Because everyone's saying, oh, the Dark Harvest, oh, Dark Harvest crossover is so much better. No, it's not going to be. It's going to be worse if there's a cult involved. I would rather anything else. Anything else. I would take Nazis over a goddamn cult. I really would. I honestly, truly would. Why? Just why? We're back where we left off. Clearly this dude's been hunting down Slenderman for a long time. He's got pictures from era, so from Tribe 12, Slender... From all of the Slenderverse. I have expect Marvel Hornets to make a cameo in here, but...
Times, Batman, Star Wars, Egyptian shit, Pact of the Cults. I get. Oh, fuck you. Showing a map with all the places that Marvel, with all Sun, Slender Man things have been. Both. Alright. Here, man. I'm gonna say it. Alright, thanks a lot. Just keep it yourself. You didn't get it from me. Okay. Yes. Alright, and I'll, uh, I'll try to find these Dark Harvest guys. Alright, yeah, that's enough of that, alright. Oh, okay, okay, alright, alright. Thanks for just having me over, alright? Yeah. Yeah, he promises right, he's not going to yeah. do anything, and then he uploads the dude's face and room and name onto the internet. I can only imagine how pissed off this conspiracy guy is going to be once he sees this. Huh. Well, there's one guy on the manifest from Germany. Vienna. Blue eyes. Bet he's blonde hair too. This is his name. Mueller. Mueller. Muller. G. And he was an arch vessel. This is painful for me. This is painful for me to look at this and see and see this. This is painful for me to see Trap 12 stoop so low to something so uncreative as a cult. It bothers me. It really does. It bothers me a hell of a lot. This could have been so much more. This could have been so much more. So I'm uh, taking another look at this uh, East Coast Assembly manifest and. Um... I notice a name down here, O'Connor, right here, and uh, Edward's last name is O'Connor, and I'm pretty sure his dad's name is Paul, and New York, I don't know about the blood type or eye color, but that, that just strikes me as a little too coincidental. Uh, it's probably a long shot. It's a pretty common surname, and it could just be the fucking paranoia making me lose my damn mind again. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask him about this eventually. I'm, I'm not gonna leave any stone unturned anymore. All right, uh, update. Because of the manifest and what Sam told me about it, I have decided to book a flight up to New York in a few days, on like the 23rd, and I'm going to see my family. Then right after, I'm going to. Jersey, and I'm going to meet up with Daniel Shipman, and he's agreed to drive me back down to Florida with him because he's actually on his way there. He's headed there too, so um, that's good. But first, I'm going to ask him about this cult, maybe even try to meet up with him. I know it's a very sudden decision and potentially very dangerous, but it's my only chance if I want to get closer to finding out what happened to Mary. And to be honest, I don't even know how much time I have left before these fuckers make a move on me, so... I got this gut feeling about this cult being what I needed to find this whole time. Maybe this is what I had to find all along. So... Here's to that.
boxing frame. And almost. Save it and protect it. Now, whose writing is that? Because that is not the observer's. I'm not sure if it's hybrids or not. Oh, I bet it's probably the Dark Harvest proxy. Because why the fuck not? Let's just fuck up the continuity even more. Because cause, cause we can. At this point, it's why bother giving a reason for doing what we're doing. Just do it because we can. Do this crossover because we can. Let's do cult because we can. Let's have, let's have Dark Harvest's proxy come in there because we can. I'm going right now. I'm playing Tetris. Good for you. Old school Tetris. Whoa. Tetris DX. Who cares? My childhood right here. I'm really dead. That feels good. Feels really, really good. So does that, but not as much. This hurts so much. This seriously hurts a lot. Hey, Daniel. Been good. Yeah, it's real. It's real hot outside, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So, are you, are you ready to go? Um, yeah, but first, I want to talk to you about something. Is that fine? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? um, you know Sam, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, he before I left, he gave me this manifest that he's been talking about. Oh, and great. Yeah, the manifest. Um, what happened actually? I was uh, I've been researching this uh, archaeologist Heinrich Kaufman, uh -huh. um, who found this tablet which ended up being connected to this uh, organization. And um, someone contacted me, uh, his name's Chris, and it turns out it's connected to this, uh, this local, like, secret organization around here. And I ended up finding out a lot more information uh, for these guys, for them. Well, uh, he mentioned specifically that up here, there's a group of guys called Dark Harvest. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Chris and um, oh, Alex. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's, um, that's who I've been finding out this, all okay. this information um, for. So, maybe, uh, could you maybe get me in contact with them? Maybe we could find out more about this We, cult, we are in the area. I guess I could, you know, get in touch with them and see what I can do for yeah, you. I, I mean, want to because uh, on, the manifest, on the manifest was Mary Asher's name. Mm -hmm. and Well, I have to, I have to warn you because... It turn, they've been dealing with a lot of, these guys have been going through a lot of stuff with this organization. It turns out it's more like a cult. And oh, really? This, yeah, this... I'm sorry, I... I just can't. So... I can't take this seriously anymore. I honestly can't. Just, it's kind of rough. So, I mean, I don't, they might be a little bit hesitant, but I can see what I can do. I mean, I mean I'd mean, i love to help them out if I could. If I, I could help them out, that'd be great. They obviously know a lot more. Yeah. So I just found out the information. They've been the ones dealing with these guys. So, okay. I, I, can see what, I can see what I can do. Yeah, and after that, we can just head back to Florida. So. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Well, just give me their number and I'll just call them, right? All right. That works. the frame at the end. I... I can see what I can see what I can do. Yeah, and after that we can just head back to uh, Florida, so... All right. All right. Right. Okay. Right. Well, just give me their number and I'll just follow them, right? 
course, the observer says that I was there. Because he was, probably. <sighs> I can't take this seriously anymore. I honestly can't. It is so... convoluted, so... I just, um, can't take this seriously. And that's a shame, because it started off so strongly. It started off with a great premise. And as it continued, it came this. This smaller piece of a big, goddamn, confusing, unnecessary puzzle. And that's a real shame. I'll watch the Dark Harvest re stuff in the next couple of hours. I need to have supper, I need to eat. So I guess I'll be back in a bit. But this is honestly, Everman Hybrid didn't have any answers. This has the worst possible answer. So I would honestly rather watch Everyman Hybrid crossover. I would honestly rather do that. But I can't.